Hi everyone, welcome to the body manual. My name is Annabelle and I'll be your physical therapist today. So last time we talked about the rhomboids and also the middle trapezius which helps to um, bring the shoulder blades back as part of correcting your posture. Um, today we're going to talk about um, part of the middle and the lower trapezius and the latissimus dorsi. So the the trapezius muscle, we're gonna talk about the upper one when I talk about the neck, but basically it's a big muscle. This connects to your head. <laughs> so that's your head and then goes to the shoulder blades. Not going for accuracy here. And then also there's the, the uh, lower trapezius. So basically it's pulling on the, scapular, um, the scapula, so it should be around this way. Also, I'm talking about the latissimus dorsi. So the latissimus dorsi is that triangular muscle when people work out. Um, that's basically attached to your part of your arm or to your arm down to your back. So when people have um, problems um, with, their, with their shoulder, there's times when I feel for these muscles down here as well. And that's why it's important to know the anatomy of all the muscles is so that you know you can find the source of the injury or what what muscles were actually injured and you can properly treat them. So sometimes people say neck pain, but it could be other things or it could be shoulder pain, but they try to do all these repetitive things, working in factories and things like that, but it turns out it's coming from the low back because of that connection of the muscle. So um, to strengthen that, that also helps with pulling the the um, humerus, the upper arm back. Uh, so it's important to strengthen these muscles on top of the other trapezius muscles. I'm going to show you now how to do those workouts. So a common exercise that we give patients after the rows, which is to help with the rhomboids and the middle trapezius muscles, uh, is this uh, pull downs to help uh, also retract the shoulder blades and to de help depress it. Depress it means to pull it down. So this is working mostly on the latissimus dorsi muscles, uh, the lower trapezius muscles and some triceps. So what you wanna do here is you wanna stand back and get some resistance. Already put yourself in, a, in the position where you're retracting your shoulder blades or pulling it back. And remember, don't, you don't want to just do this. You want to reach this way and then pull it back. Okay, so I'm pulling it down. And just to the point, I'm not going to be superwoman about it and pull too much. And remember, you don't want to roll your shoulders forward like this. You want to bring your shoulder blades back. Just like this. So I'm pulling my shoulder blades down and back. Okay, and then another one for your latissimus dorsi, dorsi. Um, that triangle muscle, you've seen that in the gym. So if you're new to the gym, this is the proper way to work out those muscles. So what you wanna do, so at the gym usually they have a bar here. So this is essentially um, a similar exercise, just the home version of it. But you can also put a bar through here if you want, um, just to, simulate that um, gym equipment. So basically what I tell patients to do, what that, what that um, muscle does is it pulls your shoulder blades like this. It rotates it in this direction. So the proper way to do this, or let me show you the wrong way that people do this. I'm gonna face this way. They, do, they go this way and then they pull down. So when you do that, you're working on internally rotating your your shoulders. You really only have to go up to here. I always tell people uh, elbow to your rib cage. So just like that. So if you have the bar here, you're only gonna go this far, like maybe chin level, just like that. So in the back, I'm pulling my shoulder blades down and back as well. Okay, so I hope that helps. So those are the main muscles that we usually work on in the outpatient clinic. Um, you know, for people who are injured or, or haven't been moving for a while. Um, so 
basically is to correct that forward posture. So for everybody else who, if you haven't injured yourself, you're most likely going to injure yourself in the future if you sit like this. So all these muscles that uh, and the workouts that I've showed you are to help you bring the shoulder blades back. And remember to go back to the episode one um, on how to even start that because if you start to have pains, if you skip any of the videos and you have any pain, go back to the previous ones. I try to do them in order because that's what I notice um, people's limitations are. They start to do these uh, exercises right away, but they don't look at the front muscles, uh, stretching out those front muscles to make it easier for them to be able to uh, strengthen the upper back. So I can't stress enough how important it is to maintain proper posture. Like I said, everything we do is in front of us. I've seen children like this. I literally see them doing this, sitting down and looking at not even their phone. They're just so used to being this way. Just watch out for that, okay? And when they're standing or like people on their phones and they're just, you know, doing this. So um, one thing I want to share, which is to scare people, which will hopefully motivate you to, um, to start with these exercises. Do you remember that um, study or that story where they said people are starting to grow horns right below their skull? So basically what's happening is because these muscles are attached there, all these muscles in the neck, in the back of the neck, when your head is this way, you're literally just hanging off of those muscles, right? So they're just hanging there. You're looking at your phone or whatnot. You're looking at your computer. And those muscles are just stretched all day long. So what happens, apparently, what can happen is um, your bones develop these furs here because your body thinks that that muscle is getting stronger. So what it does to protect itself, remember it's smart and dumb. It protects itself, it's to build more bone, okay? And eventually the rope snaps. So what happens, what can happen is that it gets so tight that the, that the bone can fracture. It's called avulsion fracture. Okay, so we don't typically see this in the neck area, but I'm hoping that that's not the future because everybody's on their phone so much. We usually see this on the heel when people get heels first. So this is the back of the heel, and then this is your Achilles, right? Your calf, your calf muscles, they end in, the, in this bone here. And same thing, that's what you usually see. So from the side, when your calf should look like this, or when your heel should look like this, the guy is facing that way, the girl. What happens is it ends up looking like this, because same thing, that muscle gets so tight, it grows more bone there. We usually see it in this, posi in this body part, never here. So I've witnessed that, so make sure that you watch yourself, you watch your children. I don't know if you wanna to have to limit their phone use or whatnot, or at least make sure that you remind them of proper posture. Another tip that I tell patients is when you have a desk job or anything where you're always on the computer, always on the phone, set a timer to remind yourself to reset so you won't get so much neck pain, you won't get so much back pain. Um, so I hope you continue to um, stay tuned and watch um, the, I think this will be the ending one or two more videos on the posture series or for the upper body posture series. So please continue to subscribe or continue to share, um, like the videos and help me help you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.